Raiders Silver and Black were first gold and black. When they first started the franchise, there was a little gold trim around the black. By their fourth year, they had moved to black and silver, and it became just the silver and black. I can't remember at the time another jersey that had absolutely no white. There was no white in the pants. The jersey was black with silver numerals. There was no white anywhere on the jersey. It was a dark look. And when the team moved south to Los Angeles in 1982, they brought the silver and black madness with them, winning the Super Bowl the very next season. They could be called the Oakland black and silvers. Those colors define the fans, they define the uniforms, they define the style of play in the field, both the hard-working black, the, the hard-nosed football, but the silver, a little bit of a glitz, a little bit of a swagger. Silver being success, black being dark and mysterious. The Raiders developed a reputation of intimidation, pride and poise, a team that would do anything to win. They took that pirate or raider and made him this symbol of intimidation. And in 1995, the team took their intimidating tactics and the black hole back up to Oakland. And this wasn't San Francisco in the Bay. This was the East Bay. We're something different. We're tough. We're mean. We represent Oakland. The colors and what they evoked, there was an intent to evoke menace and the team's playing style did exactly that. Silver and black, they're not just colors, they're intimidation.